hi guys welcome back to my channel so guys i saw a video on social media yesterday so it's making the rounds of a soldier and citizens having altercation and it ended up where the soldier was hitting the man etc and the female and the woman now when i saw the video yeah, it really angered me and it didn't anger me because the soldier was hitting the woman it didn't anger me because the soldier was hitting the man it angered me because this situation happens too much in jamaica and specifically it angered me because of how the situation started and what led to this and this is something that happens over and over and over now you're probably going to be thinking that i'm going to be here saying oh the soldier was wrong to hit citizens and the soldier was wrong to do this and wrong to do that right i've had videos where i've been fear where i said police need to do better in that way police soldier need to shouldn't have done whatever but that is a total different context that is a total different that, that's in a total different context the reason why i say that is because if a soldier or a police which it happens sometimes where i'm saying that you know you can have a better approach with the citizens a better approach sometimes can yield results right in a few cases this that i'm coming with today is a total different scenario this that i'm coming with today is the behavior of specifically in a city individuals whom whom always always and this is coming from someone who grew up in the inner city who always fulfill that saying do you know who for frighten what am i talking about i'm talking about the fact that you would be hard pressed say for example in an inner city and a relative is so like a man is fighting with another man but the man that he's fighting with as in the man that's fighting him is a gunman you would be hard pressed to see his relative or his woman or whomever come in and interfere in that fight why because she know if she get in gets involved in that fight she's probably gonna pick up two you understand or she's probably gonna get something broken you never see that happen you understand because they will never take that risk however when it comes on to the police and the soldier i have seen this happen i have seen this countless of times where the citizens they don't have any respect. Them talk to the, 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 the soldiers, police and soldiers in any way they feel like. And they're always ready to attack. You understand? No, don't get me wrong. I know that most of this, this lack of respect is coming from the fact that there is there are corrupt police and soldier in the force. You understand? However, that doesn't give you the right. You understand? To not show respect. People don't understand it. And I think it's just the fact that people don't understand that. So when it comes on to the law, there's a reason why we have the law. Even in the Bible, well, these things, you, you need governing bodies. You need certain organization to keep order because people will run, run amok. Police and soldiers, it's a very high job. You understand? You see, in the UK, as a soldier, there is so much respect, so much respect for soldiers, not so much police. But when people find out you're a soldier, trust me in this country, it's a huge thing. Because it's an honorable job. It is supposed to be an honorable um, title. When people see soldiers, they're supposed to look at soldiers and say, wow, even police, it's an honorable job. I understand that it's because of the corruption. I understand that it's because of some soldiers and police, the way how they conduct themselves because they're in this. Most of them are, because some of them are in the streets um, when they're supposed to be on duty. They're looking women or they're doing something that is not something that creates this problem where people just don't respect them because respect is commanded it's not demanded you have to command respect based on your attitude and how you carry yourself so i understand all of that but in this situation it's doping or over frightened you understand and then when them get when police or soldier shoot them you hear you hear them people black road and all of that why aren't people this why aren't the people this proactive when it comes on to gunmen? Why aren't people this proactive when they see who committed a murder? Why don't they run outside and fight the person who committed a murder? No, because they know that they can't take that risk. But people know that they can take the risk with the soldiers and the police. That is why they do it. Dopey know who for frighten. Now, I was watching Serpy's video. You know, Serpy was, uh, Serpy did a video on this same topic and Serpy was saying that, you know, Serpy did a video on this same topic. Not this of the man them. 
up and down on the streets, I play police. Right? I check ID. Right? I do conflict resolution. These are things that are not innate to soldiers. And you're telling them to just miraculously transform into these Buddhist monks, right? And have patience that can only be explained with divine intervention. It's not realistic. We are going to do this. Make the military stay at Oak Park camp. Make the police the police job. Now, as much as I get what Sir P is saying and where he's coming from. It's not just about taking the soldiers off the street. It's about the respect the citizens need to understand that these, the, 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 a soldier, it's a governing body. It's, a, it's, it's an organization there that is supposed to be respected by the citizens. I'm not saying that the soldiers or the police supposed to go around and treat people like nothing. But I'm telling you, most of the times, when they treat citizens like that, it's because of how the citizens are, it's because of their behavior. Because the citizens are naturally aggressive. Even if a soldier come into the community, I'm talking about the good soldiers now, not the bad soldiers. I'm talking about the good ones. You know, just their presence sometimes create that animosity. And people just think they can disrespect them. And that is not good. Because trust me, what if the soldier had shoot, shoot him or her? You understand? Then you'd hear. Because remember, no? remember, when you are in service, right? When you get trained, you're trained to protect yourself. At end. If you feel threatened, it doesn't matter what you use. I know sometimes they say the reasonable force. But if someone is attacking me, I don't know what they have. I don't know if they have a gun. So a soldier has the right to shoot you if you're attacking them. Because they don't know what you have. It sounds harsh, but it's the truth. And this is why we find that people get hurt. But look, the soldier didn't shoot. The soldier just did what he did. And that's a risk because you don't know, etc. But trust me, man, this is an example of the culture that we have in Jamaica. We're doping no who for frightened. The same, it's the same way if a soldier or a police kills someone and people know when someone is involved in things but they'll come and they will um protest and do all of that but on the reverse if a criminal murder someone in front of the citizens they'll they'll probably see it and then act like they must see it they'll act like they don't see it and they'll turn the other way they will not say anything and that is what needs to be changed if you're gonna hold the police accountable yes they are the law yes it is the law and we know they need to set an they need to set an example but not all soldiers conduct themselves in a certain ways in a certain way most of the times the soldiers and the police are reacting to the behavior of the citizens because the, most of the citizens are they are aggressive they are they are naturally they're naturally Coming with animosity. They're naturally aggressive towards the, the, the police and the, and, the, and the soldiers. So guys, that's my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. You know, leave your comments in, even leave your comments in the comment section as always. And you know, if you've made it this far into the video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed and you like the content and what I do. Until next time, Godspeed. Big ups. Bye guys. Bye.